Where your treasure is, there will your heart be also. God has given us unlimited treasures in His Word. Every time we open it, we can discover a new treasure or admire an old one. What will we find today? Here's Carla Early with Treasure Hunt in the Word. Have you ever been to New Orleans at Mardi Gras? If not, don't. Their narrow streets are jam-packed full of people from all over the world, most of them drunk, celebrating, but they don't know what. Mardi Gras originated with Catholics who celebrated the day before Lent began. It's gotten a little out of hand. But what if the crowds on Bourbon Street suddenly heard people shouting from a rooftop in all different languages the morning of Mardi Gras? They'd probably be curious to know what was going on, and they'd listen, I think. This is how I picture the morning of Pentecost in Jerusalem in Acts 2, except, of course, for the drunk people. Jews from all over the known world, as well as proselytes who were Gentiles who had converted to Judaism, filled the streets that morning, ready for a joyous celebration when they heard loud voices from a rooftop. Each person heard what was being said in their own language. Unlike the Mardi Gras rabble in New Orleans, the Bible says this crowd was filled with devout men from every nation under heaven. The passage uses many verbs to describe their reaction. They were obviously curious, but also bewildered, because each heard their own heart language. They crowded around, amazed, astonished, perplexed. They could tell these guys on the rooftop were hicks from Galilee, probably by the way they were dressed or how they wore their beards. Galileans were considered unsophisticated and uneducated. They barely knew Greek. Yet they were speaking all these different languages fluently. Do you know how important it is that a person learn about God in their own language? Bible translation is still going on today, but so many groups around the world don't have the Bible in their heart language. From what I've read, though, because of recent technological advances, the Bible in every language on earth is now an attainable goal if not in our lifetime, at least in the next couple of generations. In this outpouring of the Spirit and speaking in tongues or different languages, God demonstrated that He is the God of all people, all over the world, not just the God of the Jews, and that He loves and cares for all nations and wants to speak to their hearts. Such a beautiful picture of who God is. But so far, these people were merely curious and confused. Some thought these guys were drunk. If you didn't grow up in the church, what drew you? Or what drew you to downloading this podcast? Was it curiosity? Did you just want to know more about Christianity and what the Bible says? Or was it more than mere curiosity? These listeners were devout in their beliefs, no matter where they were or where you are in your journey. God wanted them and you to know he loves you. He wants to speak to you in ways you can understand and relate to. Some of those people that day opened their hearts to him. How are you preparing your heart to hear and accept the word God has for you today? You can contact us at treasurehuntintheword at gmail.com. We'd love to hear the treasures God has given you through his word. You can listen to other episodes at our website, which you can find in the description below. Thanks for listening, and remember, where your treasure is, there will your heart be also.